Harbor Freight half inch Earthquake XT 20 volt um, cordless impact. 12,000 foot pounds of bolt breaking strength. Terrifying. I don't know if it does that, and I don't care. I'm never going to do anything that's even close to that. So I'm just using it to run on bolts off and on the tires. Seems to be working well. I bought it end of last October. Um, I bought an extra battery with it. And the reason I'm making this video is I don't know what to make of this necessarily, but I charged this battery. This is the battery that came with it. Um, when I brought it home, I fully charged it. And that was the end of October of 2017. It's now March 22nd, 2018. I can't do the math, so it's a few months though. And it's still showing three red things, and it still runs fine. Now, I haven't used this but maybe two or three times a month just to hammer on big heavy bolts on, my, on the tractor or the implements or strip bolts off or drive some lag bolts when I'm mounting something heavy in the garage. Um, and then I've run a couple tires on and off, you know, a few lug nuts for like two tires, and I'm about to do it again here. And it's still got three bars, and it's still running. It's kept its charge over winter in a garage that drops down to 45 degrees at night. Um... It's not getting very warm, of course, over the winter here in southern Colorado. Maybe <laughs> the garage might get up to 50 or 60 at the very most. So even that cold weather, it still seems to be holding its charge and doing well. And I honestly haven't charged it. And I'm not, I really um, am not trying to sell this to anybody, but that just seems that the battery, and maybe that's typical lithium ions, I don't know. Um, just kind of cool. So we'll run some bolts off here. It's on reverse. The only thing I don't like about it, I wish this was a little more, had a little bit more play. Um, when you pull the trigger, you have to be super slow if you want the light to come on before the, before it kicks on. It is like right there, the light comes on basically right as it kicks on. And there's not much to play there, so if, if you're just trying to see something and turn the light on, it's kind of hard to, kind of hard to get it to, there it comes on. And I'm, if I barely move it just past that, just a half a millimeter or so, it comes on. So I wish there was a little more play as far as that goes, but that's being kind of picky. And these I torqued to 100 foot-pounds when I put the spare on the other day, so... Eh, 100 foot-pounds should be easy for pretty much anything half-inch to break, so... Alright, so so far I'm still happy with it. I don't know. We'll see how long it lasts. It was about half the price of some of the others, but the other DeWalt's and the other brands are kind of coming down in price now, too. So, um... I don't know. This is one I bought. I'm going to use it till it destroys itself, or I destroy it, and then I'll see what I want to buy after that.